Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins are like assholes and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has one. From left to right, we got straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Danielle in the building. We got LeBrain, James, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Arco in the building. We got Chuck in the back with the facts. And last but certainly not least, we have the returning. The ladies call him Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> CDM Bezo in the building. Moment it. of silence for the competition. All right, enough of that. Now, one time for the queen. Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Everyone's, everyone's. Hello there. It's so good to be back. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. This episode is sponsored and presented to you. By Black Billionaire Company and Kiar Wine. One time for the sponsors. Amen. I knew it was you, Lord. Shout out. When is God good? How everybody feeling? All the time. Feeling good, brother. Feeling good. Feeling great. How was everybody's weekend? Great. I was A1. Dope, dope. I went mm-hmm. to go see uh, Bad Boys at the drive-in for the first time oh, in you, years. Oh, you too? <laughs> you too? <laughs> Gotta steal my boy hey, shit hey, one time. Hey, hey. No, no, I didn't see it yet, though, so give me like a week. <clears throat> Is yeah. it still bad? I gotta go watch the other one. What one? The, the one before this one. You didn't watch it? I have not seen it. What? what? It was what? one of the ones that it just slipped, and then like it just... Oh, man. And then when this one came out, I'm like... I bad boys film can't this slip, shit. gang. This one ain't gonna make you can sense. miss. Yeah. You, you can miss a Fast and the Furious. It's gonna be Man, like thirty of yeah. them. <laughs> you can That's pick up wherever right you there. feel like I'll, it. Listen, I ain't going. I'm back. not proud of it. You but. shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my list of things to do, and I'm off tomorrow. So for sure, for sure. Yeah, I ain't gonna. I'm doing that tonight when pied over. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna go to. Well, depending on how long. How long is it? I ain't gonna lie to like you. Like two hours. Yeah. I don't know. Two and a half. It's, it's pretty lengthy. I ain't gonna lie. I fell asleep a little oh, bit. I don't know. My oh, girl had to wake asleep. me up. She was like, hey. Listen, like, that was my first time going to a drive in since I was a kid. And we was drinking, we was smoking. We laughed during the whole fucking movie. I only remember like one part. Got you. That's how much fun I had. Had, had a blast. Hell okay. yeah. Yeah, it's on my to watch list tonight. For sure. Okay. For sure. I'm what Mike F say? He said, after my second nut, I was done. <laughs> Not scared. I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> I was just eating, I was just smoking weed, eating pieces, and had a little bottle, man. I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> right, so, so listen, I'll go ahead. Ask him what you want to ask him. I hear it coming. Who? You. I thought you No, because no, I was just saying black Jesus. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, it's only one. I'm just wow. fucking with it's y'all. It's only one. Can, can, so can listen, we time? have to acknowledge that it is Pride Month. Yes. Shout out to the LGBTQ plus community. Yes. Shout out. We, we love y'all. Over here at the Cut Different Network, you are yes. accepted. Shout out to my two best friends, Tiffany and Kai. I Shout love you. Shout out to Kai. Let me get some seasoning, gang. Hey. All right, so, but even though it's Pride Month, it's also Men's Mental yes. Health Month. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. How are my brothers doing? How are you hey. feeling? Hi, Diego. In a good place. Hello. Tell me something real. Everybody... It's Welcome okay to, to not be Welcome okay. To Is everybody okay? Nah, we, we good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. You got anything you want to talk about? I'm not good. I can't say <laughs> never better, but I'm good. Uh man, Mr. Hey, one time for Mr. Shoot the Fade, Big Yago in the building. Yo. Let's get it, brother. Let's get it, man. Hey, this is about time like, you got here, graphic, boy. Chuck. I need the graphic, Chuck, even though I'm late. I still need the graphic. I ain't gonna lie, Chuck, Chuck you smooth. When you create a graphic for him, we need a new graphic all the way, all the way around, man. Yeah. And you came in with the purple joint. I should okay. put my hat on okay. for my graphic. Yeah. Fuck. It's just us. Hey, man. I watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Man, look at that bro. Man, that hating it's, shit, man. It, 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 it ain't on me. It's in me. I, Come on, I, baby. That's beside all right. the point. I, that's all I'm saying. That's beside man. the I point. I got this shit. Come on. Where y'all's at? Group I hug, nigga. I only have uh, <laughs> the other shirt. I don't have one of those. So. My tattoos don't show when I have a shirt on. 
Oh. Everybody don't got a podcast shirt though, Brandy. Fuck all that. What's that up with my out. nigga, man? Let's go. Let it pick out. Good. Man, I'm good, man. I can't complain. All right, so listen. What I was about to say was, you know, it's Men's Mental Health Month, and I wanted to play this video. And you, mm. it's, it's crazy because this message is coming directly. Damn. Uh-uh, it's over with. How let Bezo. Fuck with me. He got exotic drugs, too. Fuck with this me. Coming, oh, my gosh. This coming from... uh. Exotic? Damn, am I... Could, no. Feel what? What I miss? This coming from Family Guy. Yeah. Word. How come you have a gun? I don't know. It's just weird, you know? I mean, you're the last person anybody would expect to have a gun. Well, that's why I keep it here, where it's safe. That doesn't make any sense. Why have it if you're not going to use it? You know, I, I really don't want to talk about this with you, Stewie. But I want to know. Just tell me. Come on. No. Come on, please. <sighs> I keep it in case... I ever want to commit suicide, okay? Wow. Damn, Brian. Oh. Oh my god, you're, you're serious. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's all too much. Having the gun here, knowing there's a way out, it, it, it helps. You're my only friend, Brian. If I didn't have you, I'd be lost. <sighs> You'd be okay. No, I wouldn't. I don't really care for anybody else, just you. You're the only one I like. Well... Thanks. Hey, Bri. Yeah. It's crazy. Though. That's a little show. deep. Yeah, I was saying, show Brian. that lighthearted and goofy get that deep. Shout but I know because y'all thought I said family guy. I know I play too much. Mm -hmm. Y'all thought that I was going to play something that's going to have us in here. No, I can get serious sometimes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but it it's fucked me up moment. that um, family guy had one of those type of moments on their show. Mm hmm. I have. I really don't see that type of stuff. And um, the last time I seen those type of moments used to be in them sitcoms that we used to watch, where it get like real serious yeah. like that. You don't expect that from like uh, American Dad or uh, Very true. or yeah. a Family yeah. Guy. You feel me? So, right, right. I just thought that was. You feel me? Yeah, that's something else. It's right very there. appropriate for sure. Yeah, Shout for out sure. to uh, Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. Yes. And Talk don't let to somebody the, don't let the world tell y'all because y'all men that y'all have to always be strong and everything because you are human. If you are depressed, if you need to cry, let, let somebody know. Let it out. It's okay. Talk about it. It's all right. We all go through things. Boy, I'll cry in a minute, boy. Don't let them tears fool you, yeah. boy. You're not a punk for crying hey, or none it. of that. We need to get rid of that narrative. I so. promise you'll feel better. Is it okay to cry when you die in a <laughs> We care. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just wanted to kick that off. At. So listen, where y'all want to start at? Um, There's a plethora of which, where Where y'all want to take it today? Mm, I wasn't expecting you know. to do that. I'm, I know y'all don't never be expecting me. That's why I did it. Uh, I'm flying blind okay. today, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, I should have been ready to shoot off a rough hit, week huh? for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's I got an you, I, All right, listen. I got one. Let's go ahead and yeah. kick off with the Adrian Brenner. I was about to say the same oh, thing. Okay. Twin. See, I make it easy oh for you. Oh my God, twin. Okay. Let's, I swear to God, I was thinking that. Yeah. So, what about that dog gonna fight the other night? First you know, off. First that, off. Shout hey, out to Don King. Man, Don <laughs> King out there <laughs> shining man, like a monk. Shout out to Don King. <laughs> Don King had about 20 chains on in the uh, at the conference. All that Mike Tyson money on. He That's said, well, crazy. He said, man, we waited about 50. He said, this man had about 10 minutes talking trash about you, boy. About hey. time you got here, man. Hey, Adrian Broner showed up talking 24 karat crazy. To Blair Cobbs. Oh, weeks. man. Blair to Flair. I for mean, weeks. this man... Claiming bodies for weeks. He you got thought shooters. it was a hand up his ass, boy. Ventrilic was dummy crazy though. Like this boy just chatting it up out there, talking about man for weeks. He got shooters. He got I birds got going for thirty two. The only thing you ever they did still was trying to find the bodies and yeah. all this crazy and shit. He was at the press conference like I smack the shit out of you right now. Yeah. If, I, if like, I point that my shooter's gonna shoot, I smack the shit. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? And then Blair the Flair out there, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I said this nigga. He's not fucking bro, crazy. Tooth out. Listen, when he hit him, teeth. Teeth out. Oh, teeth? I thought it was just. It was like it's two or three teeth. It, I thought they said just one tooth. Man, I seen him smile. That was a big ass teeth? tooth. Okay. I hey, seen him at the, the dentist. Facts. That was a well, big you know, ass tooth. You know he had had veneer, so yeah, they also yeah. shave them down. <laughs> okay, so. 
But, but, <laughs> I'm uh, trying to tell that, you. Yeah, that second round. <laughs> he hit him. He hit the ground. He got up and couldn't take his mouth guard out. I couldn't uh, believe he went out like that. After all that shit you talk, you went out like that. He been talking that, shit. Listen, that nigga's name. He said, he said, I'm coming to die in that ring. That's what he, he said. Let me tell you something. That's Eric exactly what he, he ate his fucking words. He died he? in that motherfucker. Boy, he, yeah. he said, I'm coming to die in that motherfucker. Yeah. Boy, he hey, that man. nigga died in that motherfucker. Boy, have mercy. I call, Career dead as fuck. I call Blair Cobb now Blair the two fairy cops. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's two what I call him now. Woo! Rightfully so. Hey, man, that's crazy. Hey, be out here giving niggas new. Niggas, <laughs> I got. Hey, that, that's I'm perfect that. though. I'm nah, giving them that's perfect as fuck. Yeah, he, and the nigga <laughs> said, "Y'all know I beat that boy." Like he said about boy, if you don't. Oh my god. Like, bro, we heard this line before. Hey, but bro. nah, my thing is, bro. Heard it all before. You out there trying to walk a nigga down, bro? He no head movement whatsoever. I'm talking about you. He wasn't letting them hands go. He might as well just been walking like this. Like, what the fuck going on, bro? Like, he would not let them hands go. He took a look at him. So on behalf of Ohio, right. Sometimes we do not claim a show niggas. <laughs> he said certified tooth fairy. He said prior to the fight, he tore his shoulder. <coughs> I they said they said they saying he he making excuses now. He saying he saying he tore his shoulder prior to the fight, but shit. he still went out there and did his thing. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, bro. That, my, that's my thing too. You know, wow. like don't don't come out here with that. Yeah. After the you <laughs> that feel was me? Tragic. I think he need to retire. I got facts. Yeah. I think he need to retire. Didn't Go ahead. Be a question. <laughs> Invest that little money into yeah. some Cincinnati that property. Be a yeah. yeah. You already fighting. Go ahead. Open circuit. you up a little club. Deontay Wilder. No, he need a podcast, he, a boxing podcast. Nah, show up. Put nah, the, he do though. He do mm. need a boxing podcast mm. as much as he talk. Him you know what? Yo, Brown right. have a fire podcast, hey, no CTE podcast. That'll be fire. No cat. But listen though, well, AB. <laughs> when Both it comes to shit, but listen Brown though, and Br Antonio Brown. Listen though, bro. The CTE podcast. Oh, you got to think about this though. When it comes to people being able to talk shit and go back and forth. I don't know how much Adrian Broner is going to be able to withstand. You feel me? Oh, yeah. He'll get like, serious. in a heated engagement between him and another person. He's going to get serious. Mm -hmm. Like, That's when it comes to... the beauty of it. I ain't going to lie, bro. It ain't going to last long. No, it's not. It, he he going to fuck the money up. That's, That's what, what he's going to do. It's not going to last long, he, 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 Man, he that stupid. It's bro. not going like, to last long, bro. Unfortunately. I don't know. I think if you give him a platform like that and where he can get to generating some money off of that, I don't think he fucked the bag up. You know he used to. You know how much money he used to generate in boxing. Shooters. Yeah, bro. Like I'm about to say, did he got hurt for thirty two? That's because I cannot hear you, Chuck. That was because he thought he was about to win a fight. No. All does that have to do with boxing? I was just gonna tell you, turn the mic up. That's next level crazy though, bro. The shit he was talking though, like yeah, for sure. But I'm saying, was it not entertaining? Was you not entertained? I most definitely was. That was ignorant. I mean, not entertained. I was. I was. I ain't gonna cap. Come on, man. Don King. Good now. I was good now. Don King though. No, I still don't hear. Hey, Say bruh. something, Chuck. Hello. Don King went out here and hyped this man up. Oh, he had to. <laughs> he went and hyped this man up, bro, and got his ass whooped. Something can, serious. I wouldn't, can I you wouldn't imagine? mind hearing no interesting boxing stories from AB and a whole bunch of shit talk on top of that in the podcast talking about boxing. Man, man he looked like a jack o' lantern. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> tough. <laughs> bro, he know he got enough Sitting money at least for Happy his Halloween mouth. looking. So you wouldn't tune in if he dropped the podcast right now. You wouldn't tune yeah, in. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but he's pure entertainment. I'm watching for the crash out. Exactly. You wouldn't. You wouldn't tune in. But that's not okay. good. But, <laughs> but because what if, he, what if he watching for the crash out? And he never crashes out. You gonna that, be watching? I just, don't, I just don't see that. Bro. that hey. But that's a fact. Be good marketing. That's a fact. If he could whip, I mean, this ass, this last ass whooping might have humbled him some. He might not have it Vegas better. take out the it. odds on when the crash out gonna be. Because What's you have to listen though. You got to think he's gonna be interviewing mm -hmm. other boxers, and if he retires, he's not mm -hmm. gonna stay in boxing condition. He going to fall off. Everybody don't keep in good shape like Mike Tyson. He already the... fell off. That no, I'm talking about... like he was in shape in that ring. So mm -hmm. it's going to get even worse. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Skyline Chili Dogs and shit going to kick yeah, in. Yeah, he I, just that. That. I just That's some that Cincinnati today. shit, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got Gold Star today. Cincinnati. Yeah, Gold Star. yeah, whatever. Some Chili Dogs. Got, was, no, even yeah. if he right interviewed a boxer and crash out on a boxer and they fight on the set. 
How many views do you think that's going to do? Is it going to be considered a crash out or great marketing? I mean, but if don't nothing comes after mm. that, Fuck that, it's like I'd rather see him you shoot Antonio up the, Brown crash you don't wanna, out. You don't want to shoot your every week. But you don't want every wanna, episode, bro. Hey, you man, don't want to peak to go up see like this, going, and then <laughs> it's going to be like because after you crash out, nigga, it's over. I think nah, it ain't so nah, here. Bro. You crash the people, out if they go Come just on. just as just as Here's ballistic, the them two can they gotta get put the gloves on. One time it'll be boxing. Next time it's MMA. Next time niggas got a goddamn it play cornerback and receiver. Like, hey, that should have be wild. Well, I don't know. Even just well, the debate, though. I don't like, think y'all really sure. know what a crash just, out means, yo. I, I absolutely <laughs> know what a crash, what's a crash out is. That means I'm going to point you to sleep on the when you, while when you, you ain't looking When you shit. throw it all away. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I'm about to try to kill you. Like, you okay, stop well, you when you sleep. Said, I done lost it don't my even got to be kill you. Shit. It could just be yeah. everything I got going on. If we on here and I say some outlandish shit yeah. about the gay community. When keeping uh, it real goes wrong you know type what? shit. I never that's thought a crash about that. out. Thought, uh-huh. Okay. If I, I say I anything that's going to offend flight. anybody right. and Adrian Broner is the person that's going to say something eventually. So that's say cancel get next can- time. But no, I but think- it don't even got to be canceled. Okay. It could be a nigga jumping up and doing something to him. Okay. It could be anything. So can I say something? Well, first of all, we do not want anybody to crash out because it is Men's Mental Health Month. Huh. Amen. Huh. But my thing is, right, <laughs> we just- the market that he in, or what he would be in. I don't want to see nobody crash out. Can, can We all know this man's persona. It's damn near nothing that could make this man crash out. If that's he been crashing out since yeah. the last time he got beat he, up. He been talking crazy for a long he, time. You feel what I'm I saying? I ain't gonna lie. That's damn yeah. near he he a damn near beat like the Charleston White of boxing podcast. Cause he gonna talk a lot of shit that ain't nobody really gonna agree with sometimes. See, but the thing is Charleston White is a character. So the fuck is A B now? Cause that boxing shit no. is dead. No, for sure. And that Charleston White shit is getting tiring too. That's crazy. I'm, after yeah, we get through this, I'm going to play a video from Charleston White. That's that shit crazy. getting tiring. Well, it's a little bit more for you because I want to know what you think about something. But while we on boxing, <laughs> with the um, the Paul Tyson fight getting moved back to what, November? Yeah, man. From I'm also a disappointed, crazy. man. But yeah. it's going to be on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, they bag tape. They've been supposed Netflix to do that. Been, was, yeah, they, yeah, they were supposed already, to do that anyway. Coming up, yeah. Anyway, yeah, fact, mm-hmm. you guys are right. You guys are right. Mm-hmm. I just need to know who Fuck that. whose house is we doing this at. We you you too far in advance. I ain't got Netflix. What though. is we doing about this tank shit? Hey, I got Netflix coming oh, up. Oh, baby. Oh, that's this tank weekend. and Frank. Baby. This this weekend. Eh? Tank about to tank, tank about to get him. Eighth round. round. Ain't no telling where I'm gonna be on eighth round. You feel me? Let's go. On that day. Tank in front. Let's go. Huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Be outside without us and shit. Yeah, man. He said, "Yeah, man. He ain't. He don't got a shame. Mm-mm. Him and her. They be on some butt, Thanks. some bullshit. That's my birthday, hey. man. Yeah, we hey. seen Mike Epps and Cat Williams and no Sinbad. No matter what she said, it don't matter what, what she, she, said, it don't matter what she do. We talking about Arco. It's my birthday, man. Oh yeah." It's your birthday. Okay. You gonna oh, be somewhere man. watching it though. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's why I say ain't no so, telling where I'm gonna be. That's why I can't. Uh, he ain't fucking with this on I his birthday. I can't birth set up. Hey, that's, I that's can't. That's what that sound move, like. That's. I'm, that's yeah, I'm trying. That sound like. And then he said, "Yeah, I'm, hey, trying, to, yeah. I'm trying to move. He ain't nobody sitting in one spot on their birthdays." Nah, I just yeah. want But when you watch the fight, yeah. you gonna be so moving around while you watch the fight for sure. The fight is not. That's what we're trying to figure out. It's his nah. birthday. The fight ain't you gonna, So you're going to sit down somewhere and see, watch the fight. Yeah, that. see, the thing is, he when you host an event, it. you know how many fights is going to be that day? It ain't going to just going to be that fight. You feel me? It's going to be a few more matches. And so that's you going to be from each, you feel uh, me? each match. You're going to be so. Nah, you feel me? All right, I, bro. We don't want to kick it with they you. They don't understand, man. It's cool. I don't want to kick it with you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. He said, "That's what I want to hear." Catch pick, me. We <laughs> gonna figure it out. Catch me, bro. I'm moving. <laughs> y'all supposed to be fucking with hey, me. They trying to get me to fuck with them to, on my birthday. Y'all can't y'all what believe is, this shit. We trying to really, find out I where really you don't see the difference. He said, "We trying to find out where he moving." I really don't see the difference in what you just said. Hey man, I'll leave Arco alone. So listen, he said, "You got a lot to learn about friendship." Ryan Garcia. Okay. We've been tapping in and what's going on with Ryan Garcia. 
PED. Yeah, yeah. I've been with his with his uh He fake crashing out with his on. dirty with his dirty ass. He yeah. supposed to be a Christian. Hey, he fake out here out feeling drug testing shit. Hey man, what is wrong with the world today? <laughs> Don't motherfucker. Hey, he real judgmental on this black Jesus Boy. shit though. He's, yes. <laughs> he's supposed to be a Christian. He talking about me. <laughs> dirty he, can mother- you believe this? He man, I believe in God and I I try to teach the children right and all this and that. Oh man! Oh, he already Hold overweight. On, what did he? What did he, what yes, did he test for? He was already overweight for some performance. He was three pounds. Three pounds. What, three what pounds. drug did he fail? They found osterine in him. Think, What's that? I'm gonna say I don't know it's what it's a, called. It's a drug you take to like bounce back from chemo. But yeah, but, but what do you use it for outside of that? It gets you high. I think they said no. they claims it, it helps a little bit with your muscles or whatever. Yeah, but it helps your mm-hmm. muscles. It helps. It was health. only Real it was a very very small hey. amount that was found in his system, and then when they kept testing them and testing them, it they eventually found out it was from a supplement that he was taking that he, nobody knew. You know, had the osterine in it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so listen, I just want y'all to peep something. I feel like y'all What's ping up, bro? Did y'all, y'all see? Don't tell nobody else. Nah. How knowledgeable Beezy was about this drug, right? Yeah. Go Do ahead. y'all remember when Beezy karate chopped the top of the bottle <laughs> off of that uh, Patron? Yeah, I remember. Uh, you do. Hey. Yeah, it was crazy. I told y'all Legend niggas has before it. that he was on the juice. What did you say this drug is called that Ryan Garcia is taking? Osterine. He like, yeah, it, it intensifies. It's right after a workout. It bounces back and it builds muscle. Huh? <laughs> then he said he ran like seven miles or some Look. crazy yeah. shit. Like, you did that? Look. Y'all remember he said that on Pi the day he chopped the bottle? Medicine, uh, medicine working right while he, boy, all while better, he fighting and shit. Y'all better shit. stay woke. He getting hit. He just, the, the muscles just bouncing back. That's, nah, stop it. That's but why he was over. They put him in the hospital. Forever. They put him in the hospital. Mental, like, he going through a mental evaluation. You think something wrong with him? No. Because they said he got locked up for, like, vandalism or something. I think in a hotel. Yeah. Well, he vandalized the Beverly Hills. Why right. would you crash so, out? Let me, let me ask you this. We seen how this works before. You try to expose some shit. They don't want to kill you because that's too obvious. So they like, shit, we going to Kanye you. Martin Lawrence, mm. you. It's Martin not, Lawrence, you. It's not Damn. a real answer to but, I mean, why a motherfucker crash out. They damn or don't even know. But we can't excuse the fact that he already got like mental issues. Like even in the past, he pulled out of a fight like years ago because of his depression and mental issues. And then, I mean, he does seem I mean, a little. Wasn't that back when he, he was a nobody trying to make a name? Well, Tank fucked nah, him up. He, That's he what was happened. Okay. He was already <laughs> making a name. Pop Tank shut him up. Tank, tank <laughs> shut his ass down. He ain't been the same since. <laughs> Well, I was making a shot. <laughs> 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 hey, how about I hit you in your ass and get your brain damaged? <laughs> hey, then you say Tank said that dude hit hard. He was the the hardest hitter that, or was that? Nah, was that Roos? was Rolly. Rolly. He said it was Rolly. his hardest fight. Rolly was. He said Rolly. You know what they say about power. that? I feel like Rolly got retarded. That one type of. Stri- <laughs> <laughs> He said Rolly uh, See I wasn't going to say it I was just going to give you the chicken wing I was just going to just give you Hey you might want to clean that up Chuck I'm not sure what YouTube's uh, Yeah Nah man that was policy. That, Man nah they, He said nah we need that Yeah He good You better You better recognize I did. sign language That I did I mean, shit, y'all done had about 10 of these motherfuckers, shit. Was, Them healthy. Hey, I just didn't know. I know what they are, I but just shit. Did, you did, I didn't know that's, you know, your drug of choice. Yeah. That's what's up. I can't fuck around. Not drug of choice. That was wild. Talk <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, roll the motherfuckers like Cuban cigar. Nah, he definitely rolled blunts better than them bitches. I home. normally don't hit them. But he got them going <laughs> right. I can tell I'm by the way that he rolled it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, brother. I appreciate nah, it. Nah, for sure. For sure. The worst part is when a nigga try to roll one that's on a diet. The one it's only two people hey. I know that roll them like and that. make your I mean, chest. Where when you hit them. it make your lung turn like, inside damn. out when you smack it. I, I hate it that. It tastes like this. Like, <laughs> when they roll <laughs> the yeah. Every time I smoke a, a, a backwood, it tastes like put dirt. put a Gigi in the backwood. Oh, my God. If you only put a Gigi in the backwood, I'm going to talk about it. You can't put a Yago blunt in the, in the back. Hey, that shit hurts. 
It hurts. That shit, bitch. Just, hey, just try to put the Nino over the in there neither. Yeah, I wouldn't pass y'all okay. nothing like that, man. Come on now. I'm going to hit that bitch one time and then be like, yeah, I'm cool, That's bro. Because you'll be dizzy. I got a GG. You'll be no, dizzy on that motherfucker. Hey, like little GG <laughs> in the back. <laughs> All, right. All right, y'all. We got to bring it back. We got to bring it back. Yeah, Randy, my, you just sitting there. Man. Let us fly all off of time. <laughs> so, all right. Look at the smoke still. We can get the conversation. Yeah. We can get the conversation yeah, we, going. Yeah. I got something. Too much in one sitting. I'm Dang. telling you. The Mavericks. Oh, how much is too much? I'm about to, we about to get them shirts. Just too much the in boys. one sitting. Don't hit girls back. I've been whispering in my son. Here, go hit her back. Hit her, she hit you, you hit her back. And that's why you got to stay away from males. You that's got why to, you got to stay in a woman's place. You got to separate. That's why you, you don't live. Woman's woman's that's place. why you don't live. Uh, you quiet and don't talk back to a man. Because all the women before me that I saw gracefully, those were those kind of women. Her grace and 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 and, 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 and her her essence of a woman will shut his motherfucking ass up. When the essence of a real woman come around, niggas pull their pants up, say, man, don't do that in front of her. It's man. naturally what we've done it because her presence of a woman, a bitch won't get that response. Man. That was a bitch. All get back and forth with a man. I would have watched my mama remove herself out of the presence of a disrespectful boy playing like he a man. Wouldn't even respond to him. But a bitch got something to say back. A woman removes herself. It's certain things that a lady ain't go do. And when a lady walk into a room, men and straighten up. I mm-hmm. Hey, gotta say. Mm-hmm. Hey, bruh tells no lies. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Brandy, would you like to open up the conversation? Well, I'll say this from, from what he was saying in the beginning. I'm a boy mom, and I do believe, first of all, a woman should keep her hands to herself. Absolutely. We know that a man is more stronger than us and everything, so I, I'm a boy mom. You, you, you hit him, I really feel like, yeah, you get bopped upside your head, you deserve that. Keep your hands to yourself. It also, at the same time, we have uh, the law and shit that's out here. And when a man, whether uh, she hits him first or whatever, when a man hits him, you know, hits her back, and she get that phone, that man eventually is what? Going where? To jail. to jail. To the bank. You're going to jail now. <laughs> so going that's why my advice yeah. is, driver. my advice is call your mama. Yeah. I'm going to beat that with a bottle. Hey. So, yeah, but um, I, I'm an advocate for that. Keep your hands to yourself, ladies. For sure. I'm with that shit, too. I got boys and girls. I tell my daughters Same. to leave my, they brothers um. alone. I tell my, they, my sons to leave their daughters alone. Y'all protect each other. Mm-hmm. What do y'all think about the the difference in comparison that he was? Unless making he cheat on you, he cheat on you, girl. You b- beat that motherfucker's ass. Hey, okay. Hey, I just feel like hey, Brandy. <laughs> you just said keep your hands. One, I said Mike, unless he cheat on dang. you, you can't, can't be no unless. You just, I just said, thought about it. My bad, you know. <laughs> I just feel like he didn't have to start that point the way he did with the. You hit that motherfucker back. Like he could have still made that point with saying the essence of a woman. I think you he don't got clipped like that. Okay, see, I don't know. But I was just gonna say, because I feel like he is the king of great points but piss poor presentation. But you know what? It's mm-hmm. the piss poor presentation that, that makes it. that make us watch. That make you, yeah, that yeah. make you watch him. And he didn't say that a million times yeah, in his I normal understand. Have y'all ever seen a normal yes. Charleston White interview? Yes, and I also seen his background and what he like really yeah, stood community for and how he was moving and it wasn't going nowhere for him. And now he's doing this and he has the money to really make a difference. And I was like, okay. But have y'all though? Has everybody seen an actual real Charleston where he's not, he don't have mm-hmm. the character on and he's not acting? I seen him when he was on the news. Um, As a person and not that character. Yeah. Polo tucked in, speaking properly. But you know how it is. It's I like we gravitate to the bullshit. Yeah. Or, but he, the way he compared it was, you know, whenever you talk to your child and you be like, hey, can you please pick that up? Can you get that? Can you Can you stop doing that? When you like that with a child, you know, they kind of going about their business and do. But the moment you be like, hey, sit your motherfucking ass down before I. Then you get. Uh, so that's what he compared it to. Yeah. That make a lot of sense. But what do y'all think about the comparison? And like, because what he talking about the bitch, what he mean is a woman with masculine energy. He could have mm-hmm. said that. 
Absolutely. You know what I mean? He Absolutely. didn't have to necessarily, but but what y'all what y'all think about the comparisons in people? We've all dealt with different types of women and men through the years, you know what I'm saying? Um so listen, I just I all feel like it all stems from trauma. Like you're gonna meet some people who have tendencies to have more masculine energy because they had to like the way they mm-hmm. the way they came up they might have had to be like a stronger <clears throat> person so they're not in their feminine and well, they don't really know that side so like i just feel like you you gotta bring people around <laughs> i feel like that's something you can change if willing though uh, absolutely and some people yeah. absolutely but but again i always feel like that just has to come from a sense of comfortability bro but let's speak into the differences. Because I, let's just imagine okay, okay, okay. it's two different types of women mm-hmm. and they whole life one carried that rah 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 uh fuck you get in your face uh argue you know what I mean yeah. type of energy and then the woman that he speak of who knows when you know what I mean Yeah, a woman that, that can't submit, you can't partner with that. You can't build with that. How can you? Because like everything I do, you're going to second guess. <laughs> no, as far as all that go, hell no. Nah. Like, like you feel me? Like yeah, and like, then when I'm gonna tell you to do something, <clears throat> and we all come to a consensus that is good for the group, and you still do the what you want because you like, you just you can't compromise. Like that's what I that's what I feel like. Like those are the people who are like that. Like you just. They get, they're going to be single. I mean, they say it's somebody for everybody, but hey. I, I mean, but. It's a respect thing. I feel. What you mean? Go ahead. Like, like a, a female going to disrespect a male as much as he let her. Mm-hmm. And then they're kind of like vice versa for real. See, but that's where it be become a. Because. All right, Brandy, let me. In a, a sense of an argument, what type of um, approach do you take? Like whenever you and Russell have like disputes back and forth. What do you mean? Like whenever y'all get into it and it's a back and How forth argument. How often are you submissive in the arguments with you and Russell? Now that's a deep ass question. Like, what you mean submissive? Nah. See, I didn't uh, say submissive. Okay. I just want to know the you approach. Have a conflict for me. I just, uh, I just want to know what your approach okay, is yeah. in a um, dispute, a uh, normal back and forth with you and Russell. I can come to him and talk to him just like this, and I'm talking about in this type of tone and everything. Like, hey, you know, I, I ain't like when you did that. Like, that kind of hurt my feelings when you did the and shit. That motherfucker. Don't come in here yelling at me, nigga. I am talking to you in a regular ass voice. <laughs> like, what the. You crazy. You, you crazy. thought you it's was like, talking in the regular I, no, voice. Like, hey, I ain't going to lie. Man, so, that shit, that's that's going to come up too late. Like, hey, like, man, that's hell? crazy. But, like, no, for mm-hmm. In a heated situation, do you ever feel like, has it ever been, I'm not trying to get too deep in no, your business, but I keep it like, real. in a heated back and forth, do you ever think to yourself like, okay, let me file back to try to, Instead of going, rah, 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 or are you like, just me, like a. I feel like let me fall back because, shoot, it ain't get, getting nowhere. <laughs> let me fall back because it ain't getting nowhere. I'm about to go sit outside on the porch or, you know, go sit in my car again. And then next minute we back cool like ain't nothing happened. <coughs> Keeping it real. <coughs> Round of applause for another <coughs> fucking Brandy Daniel. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. Good therapy session. Thank you. <laughs> it was slight. Now, I, because when I seen that video, I'm like, damn. That kind of that kind of makes sense. He ain't all. He don't always say dumb shit. He just said. That's what I said. Just poorly. Extra. Fuck. I think too. The longer you with somebody, after a while, yeah, you get tired of all that damn arguing. And like I said, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You know, and just walk away and shoot. Next minute, you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit this blunt? <laughs> type shit, type shit. <laughs> what you want to eat? What you want to eat? That shit be crazy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> 30 minutes later, motherfucker be cool as fuck. Like, no, man, what, what the fuck? For real. 
<laughs> Y'all know what Summer Jam is, right? Mm-hmm. The event that the they event. do in New York with Hot 97. Y'all want to be the next on. contestant on that Summer Jam screen. Um, oh. and You know, they used to be like a big thing, right? Big it show. Was. You was that man if you was rocking that. Well, they done moved it like to where it used to be somewhere that it carried damn near like 100,000 people. And they moved it to somewhere that only carried like 40 or some shit like that. I don't know if the numbers are right, but, but it's something somewhere like that. Like that. And um, you know, they used to have it at Summer Jam where they have the outside performers where it'd be mm-hmm. the old school set where, you know what I mean? And there's different shit going on yeah. within the before the main event shit. So they had Met the Man and Red Man performing uh, at this past Summer Jam. And he didn't really get a good crowd reaction because Summer Jam is really the like the people. main event. The main stage used to be for the young motherfuckers, uh-huh. you feel me? Mm-hmm. And if there is no more main stage, if it ain't a hundred, if it don't fill a hundred thousand people, it's not all those different type of areas where somebody could go to. You feel me? Right. So he, so everybody pretty much performed on the same stage, and Method Man didn't get the reception that he was looking for. So uh, he said, "Summer Jam ain't for me," and people thought that he was being like. Uh, <coughs> You know, like Saudi about it, yeah. but he's saying like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just bringing self awareness. Like, I'm too old for this now. <laughs> yeah, you know, what I'm I mean? not rocking it like I used right. to. So, uh, I don't know. I what? think it was part of the promotion though, because the main, the main person, the main headliner that day was Sexy Red. Come on now. Right. Yeah, you got to know exactly. your crowd. You can't crowd. I just met the man on the same you can't card pair as Sexy Red. With yeah. Yeah. Sexy Red. Yeah. Why is they the same <coughs> card at Paul all? Paul Rosenberg and all them. Ebro and them. Funk Ebro Apollo. fucked that yeah. all up. Like, bro, you supposed to be yeah. some type of DJ. You should have known this lineup was whack. Yeah. Ebro mm. and Charlemagne need to hang it up. Damn. Agreed. Hmm. Because, listen, in this... And trust, uh, man, rap with y'all yeah, to say, Charlamagne really right because this. he the king of mental health. That's what he pretty much done based his career off of at this point. But they just ain't in touch with what's going on now. Yeah, they they're not. DJ up. Envy need to get the fuck on too. To be completely honest, I was watching the Breakfast Club under the, the, uh, the other the ah. other day, <laughs> and I can't remember who they was interviewing, bro. But I'm sitting there like, what are you doing? Like I'm sitting here critiquing DJ Envy, like this is horrible. So yeah, they need to hang it up. I don't know. Uh, Ebro was dead ass wrong for it. This damn man, like Ebro was Saudi at Method Man, like set him up. Yeah, so like ain't no structure to it no more or something. So he just picked names out of hat. Yeah, that's crazy. My they just man. not really in tune with what's going on. <laughs> if you make the radio, <laughs> then. It's a conversation to be had, but just think about how many people that we love that don't touch the radio. That's mm. insane. Yeah, because how many days is Summer Jam? I want to uh, say it's a two, weekend, ain't it? Two or three. Uh-huh. Well, like Friday to like, Sunday. Just imagine shit. Starlito at Summer Jam. He should have had like yeah, old, older, uh, older... Nigga don't know. Night, was a, nigga don't know. Skilla ba- was Skilla Baby yeah. there? <laughs> no? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's dope for us, but yeah, you like Chuck. Can you do me a favor? Can you look up, look up the up Summer Jam lineup, lineup please? <laughs> Summer Jam dying because Rolling Loud. Yeah, yeah Rolling Loud took over everything. Let me say, shit. Rolling Loud took over everything. They saying, yeah, uh, what was they saying? They shut down the spring break. <laughs> yeah. They shut down the freak deep. Yeah. They go, they go. Has that gonna... happened already? Nah. Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. it was that little thing where everybody I'm goes. Not sure. I thought it was Coachella. Anyway. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's what that's the yeah. thing now. In the South by Southwest shit. Mm-hmm. Ain't shit. ain't Coachella where Travis Scott got all them people? Uh, no, nah, that was nah, his that was his own mm. shit. Yeah, yeah, that was, that no. was just Travis. World. Yeah, yeah. Travis yeah. Scott, Astro yeah. World. Yeah. That's crazy. People getting that's crazy, bro. Like people getting trampled over and shit like that yeah. bro. like it's can weird. you imagine like, that bro what, like what has come over y'all to where y'all not human no more y'all just stepping on human hey, beings what? to go see another human being like that nigga bleed like we do put his pants on one leg at a time yeah, mm-hmm. i mean the crowd was so i ain't gonna get into that too fucking crazy i got my thoughts but i ain't gonna <laughs> get into that fuck around the with devil is mind. not welcome here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did it did it pop up chuck Okay, that's all I'm yeah. gonna say. 
I sent you the list hey. if you want to look through it. I don't really know. Rituals be real. I Taylor did. Swift do them all the time at her shows. Motherfuckers talk about they lead there with amnesia. I'm not trying like, to what? read these names wrong. What you mean you don't remember you went to a show? You well, I got to read names wrong. wrong all the time. This is right here with these people. Yeah. All right, so Becca D. Yeah. I ain't never even seen her before. No. She's a white girl. Um, Makes sense. Beanie Man. Huh? <laughs> Beanie Man. Like Rush Clock. Yeah. The and one I'm and Bounty and Coco. I ain't hip. Burner Boy. Okay. Busy Signal. I ain't hip. Kylie Buds. I heard his name before. I just ain't hmm. never heard his music. <sighs> Coach of Candela. No. no 90s Diani. <laughs> nah. Izell. Mm. Uh. For Tony. Uh. Green, who? Not me. Mm, Jay Bud. <laughs> yeah, hey. So at this right, this sound like you're reading a fucking I'm local card. I promise. <laughs> the only nigga I, I knew know, was Burner Boy. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's oh that? yeah, Burner Boy is there. Yeah, yeah, this Burner gotta be Boy. everybody that was there. Okay. Yeah. Like you know, they they let some up and coming niggas come too. Where's the main? I smoke too much. Damn. Okay, that so. is facts. Yeah, all right. Burn up boy, yeah. I ain't even seen none of the main lineup. Up. There's a lot of goddamn people. I would have been lost after that. Yeah. After like Burner Boy. Yeah, after yeah, Burner I'm Boy. Yeah, I'm going home. I don't know it's you. Almost, it's almost like he performing as a no favor. I would have never been there. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, I show up. Especially for the money they asked for. Like, remember, <laughs> you, remember that one there. time? <laughs> you owe me. I can't mm-hmm. do crowds like that. I ain't going to see Burner Boy. No. I can't do yeah, crowds I like wouldn't that. go see Burner Boy. Especially you wouldn't after like date? Astro World fuck and everything. No. He said, Matter fuck no fact, shit. Wait, date? y'all. My date would be like, who the fuck is he? Matter of well, fact, hell nah. what was that? What's that? Woodstock <laughs> with yeah. DMX? How the fuck did all them people just be packed like that? I cannot do shit like that. So no, I couldn't go to no, them type of festivals. That, that's an outside event. That shit I know. Like, I don't know nothing. That's the only that's way different. they can get that shit on. Yeah. That shit's crazy. And that's just too many people. They never expect it to get like that. Mm-mm. I just think it's greed from a, a promoter perspective. Them festivals mm-hmm. would feel like the biggest bootleg I've ever been to. <laughs> that <laughs> and I don't do bootlegs. Too many no. people for I've me. I've done it twice. And I'll never nah, it I would have to be all the too way many in people the back, for me. like way in the back where I could just leave when like, I want to. He said, we done sold out the yeah. Chinese restaurant. And what the fuck? Where the fuck we at? Type of, uh, <laughs> the type of shows like Astro World and shit. Like, nah, bro, if I'm not in the nosebleeds, I'm not fucking with it, bro. Man, I went to Future and was down there front row like, Help me. Ty Dolla Sign. My baby mama gave Ty Dolla Sign her phone. Like, that's how <laughs> close we was, nigga. Hey. Like, <laughs> no cap. That shit was crazy. It was just like a, we was in a fucking wave pool. Where Best it, show it, I went and seen was Lil Wayne. I went and seen him at the Blues House for my different. birthday last year. Columbus. So I don't know. Was packed. Between Gucci Mane and Migos, it was probably the best one. Where, where'd I you seen go to the watch city. them? Uh, I saw Gucci Mane at the Hair Arena. And uh, I Rest saw the Migos peace. at the Red the Barn, okay, over there behind the palms and shit. Yep, back yep. in the day, back in the day, this is when they first mm-hmm. came out though. They, they ain't gonna lie, the show was lit though. Came. Nah, for sure, and it was I local, remember, so you know a lot of motherfuckers there too. Yeah. So listen, mine's was Kevin Gates. Mm-hmm. Where at? Mm-hmm. In Columbus, he was talking about that pressure. Oh gosh. Calm down. Ah, okay, calm so down. check this. <laughs> calm down. While we on shows mm-hmm. in Little Wayne. Brandy posted that it's a reference track that then came out. I'm single for uh, yeah, Lil single. Wayne's I'm single. That surprised anybody? Did you hear that? I was about to say, yeah, I been knew that though. I Did y'all been knew that? I ain't know it was the reference track. You know who wrote it? I heard Drake wrote it. Oh, this so it was okay. Got, this nigga got inside information. Come on, man. Mm. Hey, come on. <laughs> Mm. Is what okay? That's a song they singing. Y'all pick and choose who is who is okay to have ghostwriters or Ooh. not. Listen, I'm Man, not listen. against Drake having Hold a on. ghostwriter. Hold on. All I want to say is why is all these and why and how was all these ghostwriters fucking their money up and revealing their motherfucking shit? Yeah, so wait, stupid. y'all cool with rappers having ghostwriters? What do it affect me? I, I write my own shit. That's what I'm saying. I feel and like a little bit of his. It's me being. Bro, stop. I didn't even yeah, point it to you. I mean, I mean, it, it don't matter. Who else on camera right now? I'm starting to really. Stop fucking playing, bro. Stop. For real, bro. All right. Um, Damn. Um, hey, Chuck. Oh, shoot. you going to have to clean that up. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Y'all cool with ghostwriters, too? Shit. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, what does Drake having a ghostwriter? 
change about the music if I enjoy the music? I don't know. I just feel like with me being a former artist, I don't play that shit. All right. So, <laughs> and I remember people, especially men, used to be like, "Did you write this?" Yeah, I wrote this shit. Don't nobody write none I mean, of my so listen, and you're supposed that's to take pride. That's the pride, but listen, and that's and the honor to of have being it. a real rapper. That man, I'm writing this shit. And there's nothing wrong with having there, But wait, but if you sit in the studio and you over here trying to come up with a little hook, and and somebody be like, "Well, won't you say it kind of like this?" I don't see nothing wrong with that. But you sitting back and giving me a whole motherfucking verse and everything, no. No. Listen, and take pride in what you do as a rapper, mm -hmm. but as a fucking pop star, if you want to maintain, if you ain't got it no more, you trying to maintain so, your spot. I don't see nothing wrong with you collaborating to keep your position. Mm -hmm. I like your music. I like your music. It ain't. Here's my because that shit. Hold on. Let me just say something real quick. Go ahead. We talking about a song where Lil Wayne was singing. Not a, a rap song. Where the where it's a, a pop song. Where a reference track at? Where somebody wrote Lil Wayne bars at? He ain't really singing a whole track. He only singing on that. Yeah, I'm single, but the rest he's huh? rapping. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm single. Yeah, play it. Listen. Either way, I don't care if you rap or you sing. If I like the music, I like the music because. <clears throat> when I heard uh -huh. them reference reference tracks from um Quentin Miller yeah, or uh, if you reading this right. if yep. you reading this is too late. late that shit sounded trash when Quentin Miller was rapping that I shit it. I ain't gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that reference what, track I from Yachty on Drake for on that uh her law shit I thought Yachty sounded trash when he was rapping it and that's my thing like these niggas is fucking their hand up cuz you exposing yourself as the writer somehow you do songs. I don't think Yachty did that. I don't All think right. Yachty did that either. But I'm saying Yachty don't even care who knows. Yachty, uh, here's my he don't confliction. Even care if he, he not even a ghost writer. He's a writer, flat out. He sends songs to people. We know that about Yachty. But niggas like the Daylight nigga, um, niggas like the Quentin Miller nigga, and these niggas that's all right. As soon as these niggas put this song out, and you know we gonna leak the reference track. Whoever put it out, put it out. Fuck up your bread and Fuck butter because now you don't got it to go gonna mainstream. Work. Somebody gonna still work with Drake. Ain't nobody gonna work with you no more because you you gonna leak me. You niggas. Is I ain't saying up. this. The niggas that's against Drake write his own write they own rap, so they don't need you. See, here's my confliction <laughs> with mm. hip hop. It's like a, a sin to have a ghostwriter in R&B. Most R&B singers don't write their own music. Bruh. Thanks. Pop, you don't have to write your own music. You just have to sound a certain way. You have to look a certain I way. I am so hurt how Carrie Hilson ruined her career by dissing Beyonce. She didn't think the beehive mm. was that strong. It's Damn. like poking a real beehive. You you thought you was good until that motherfucker swarmed you. Then it's like, damn, that was dope. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> she probably de de deprived <laughs> us of some good prime no, Beyonce music. Because you, know, insane, you know what I'm man. saying? She wrote some fire shit. That's bro. what I'm saying. That was my but so has Drake And that's my problem Like everybody's so Oh fuck that nigga Drake Cause he got a ghostwriter It's like but what about the shit That he goes wrote But you still have to prove yourself you know what I'm saying? You and got, you got saying. to prove like, your pin game. Like he, he did. Shit, he, pop, he pop. proved his pin game so good. Niggas was like, "Can you write me a song?" And he was like, "Sure." Okay. He right. done wrote here. This falling apart. Put that together for me. Mm -hmm. Drake, Drake, uh, then wrote hella song, and he done wrote smashes though. Smash like, he done wrote hit. for uh, Mary J. Black. Like I'm Alicia not questioning Keys. that niggas yeah. pin, bro. Yeah, how can you get busy? A lot of his ghost writing stuff was them type of songs. Mm -hmm. You know, no. that's when he was but like what about the Kanye? nice guy, the nice guy <laughs> Drake. What about and when he wrote for that Kanye album? Father stretched his hands and all that. That's yeah. when he used to be the nice guy Drake, so he could write stuff like that. But I don't understand how Life of Pablo, that's what it was. Yeah. Drake he, the he artist goes, wrote half that the album. Drake the artist is but a it's character. Okay for Kanye to have a ghostwriter. Yes, a character. Dude is a character anyway. He's not so, Drake that's ain't what I'm really saying. Drake. Aubrey Graham became in the game as an actor. You only knew it was gonna take him so long before he was able to imitate rappers like we love. Just like how never mind, I ain't even gonna go there. What? It's too late. Come on. All right, man. What I got is light the other blunt. Nah, 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 man. Yeah, we're going to say that for after. Since it's Pride Month. <laughs> oh, man, where is this going? I'm confused. 
This is what I'm going to say. Just like I said how you could peep Tupac's mannerisms. <laughs> Bro, I was just about to say that, though. Like, hold on. It's videos where you can see Drake's mannerisms in the way he talked that lets you know hey, the person God. that we get entertained by every day ain't not Aubrey Graham. Yeah, he take that off at night like Scrooge's arms. He, hey, you fucking You feel me? Fuck, man. Shout out Scrooge, he, man. He really you fucking with me? <laughs> you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he take that shit off. That shit is. Yeah, stop playing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, hey, you got I a problem, man. Dude for his lighter like five times all night. Uh, yeah, but yeah, um, the shit is an act anyway. So I'm not mad at him getting people to help him keep up the act. Do y'all remember Come when on, Drake man. couldn't shoot music videos because he didn't know what to do with his hands while he was rapping? He ain't when he performed. He used to do that. Yeah, like what? What are you doing, bro? Put your fucking hands down. Especially when he used to stretch his words out, sing. I used to hate when he was saying <laughs> sideways and always keep looking back and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was when he was that rapping was, with Rick Ross. Had me and yeah. Nina. Yeah. That's before he had a beard. Yeah, he didn't have a beard or none of that shit. He wasn't. He was awkward in front of the camera. Listen, it took a while for him to, to develop the character. Hey, now, fuck He got that. it down pack now, though, bro. That was still Jimmy on camera. And I'm not I'm mad at now, him. Now he got the act. That's what I'm not. saying. Sure. I'm not mad at him. He's he, did it. he did his thing. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Want away from okay. Michael, nigga, beat it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We let that nigga act his way into being the bit. And that's what, and that's why he's take he's Greatest taking two losses to two rappers and uh, no blemishes. Soon as he retired from rap, watch how many Academy Awards he win for playing Drake. (laughs) Hey, shut up. That would be hilarious. This nigga is a hip-hop soap. Yeah, man. Shout out to Aubrey, man. I fucks with you. Mm -hmm. He's not like us. (laughs) Shout out to K-Dot. I heard you like him young. So, look. I'm about to play a clip of Bum B in court talking about the 2019 home invasion, home invasion. Okay. where dude held his wife at gunpoint and he had to shoot somebody. I saw that. She can't communicate. And I just get, I get so angry all again because she didn't deserve it. She didn't ask for this. She didn't ask for this. Uh, the next morning, um, she got out of bed and went down to the kitchen and I heard her scream and I went down to see what was wrong and she had her back turned <clears throat> and she was crying and I was like, what's wrong, what's, what's wrong? She was like, I can't, I can't. She was just shaking um, furiously, I can't, I can't. I was like, you can't, she was like, I can't look at those stairs. And it was from that point where we realized like she couldn't even be in that house anymore. It, 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 it is because, you know, there are times where she gets closed off. She can't communicate. Oh, yeah, that ain't KR1. Y'all got to take that. Let me see that. Y'all I am take that so that sorry. That's on me. That's on me. Yeah, it's the new guy. <laughs> yeah, new guy. <laughs> Fucking up. <laughs> I done got high. So, look, this is what I want to ask y'all because there's been a lot of conversation. Mm-hmm. Um in conflict about him being in court testifying. Now, as grown men, <coughs> if y'all at home chilling, somebody breaks in your house, holds your girl, fiance, whatever she may be at gunpoint, you end up shooting me. Mm-hmm. Can I go first? And you're in a situation where you have to testify. What do you do? Want to testify on my behalf? What are you talking about? We're talking about yeah, my yeah, freedom I, at stake. You lucky mm-hmm. I didn't kill this motherfucker. You're on. It's not your. It's not your freedom. Okay, we'll dig it this. Could, it okay, can listen. Be you in Texas first and foremost. You got the okay, right so to bear yeah, arms. Okay. You can protect your house. All of that. So all, all that good shit. Twin. So with I'm, all that, bro's not in the streets no more. He's a civilian. He lives by a civilian code. Bro owns a burger establishment. Like, Fact. he has a burger chain. But mm-hmm. even with all that, you still going to have to, if if you can't just kill nobody, it's proper things you got to do. Nigga, you, right. You got to handle. Is, you got to handle. You got to follow I'm, that through in court because you just killed him or, you, you know, or shot, you a shot a man. Or you shot a man, yeah. Man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, I did that, Your Honor. 
Man. It broke my house. What would did what happened had to be done. It's on camera. You know man. what type of adrenaline, you know how much adrenaline rushing through, you know what I mean? Like you in fear for you for your own fiance, you know what I'm saying? Or you in fear for your wife's yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 dare to protect her. You feel me? Like That's shit. Cool. You know what I mean? Like, how couldn't anybody understand that? You know what I'm saying? Of course. I testify for sure, you know what I'm saying, on my behalf, you know, like and anybody and wouldn't have no problem agree with, with it. that. Like you you don't let the streets blur your goddamn it. Like hey. like you don't see reality like how you should for real. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get my gun license just for shit just like that. I'm gonna be honest. But what's your gun license? You breaking like, my house in an open carry state. Look, if I don't, I don't, it's still it's no. still a little yeah. bit better to have them. I ain't gonna yeah, hold you. Come on, but check dig though. I'm trying to I'm trying to conceal my shit and be in Because this is my whole thing. You're not allowed to be with them. If the police want to fuck you over after they see you got a gun, they can say you didn't go take the proper classes. To, to learn how to do this or that, and they could have said you was doing some shit with the gun or whatever. You see what I'm saying? When I already have my license to say, huh, I'm armed, officer, on the, on the pullover. Yeah, I'm armed. I got my license right here for it. We really don't need no more. Do In the state of Ohio. I do. Hmm. We'll stay, uh, stand your ground now. So we really don't even need it. That's why I didn't renew mine. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't even need the conceal permit no more. Mm-mm. I'm hip to it, you know. I'm rocking. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't knocking him for still going to get his just to cover his I mean, ass. It's just extra proof that you know how to handle sure, a a, sure. a gun properly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what's that score, bro? And I'm pretty sure that probably makes you look That's better in court thing. after you pop a nigga steal. Boston. Because you get called the person whose course you took, and he can come and vouch for you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It should have played out of your favor in court a little bit. No, more, uh, for, sure, for sure. I took the class, but some weed shit fucked up my chances of getting it at the time. Oh, so Lord. I just ain't never went to That's wild. Yeah. And I got pulled over in Indiana with a nigga that had his shit. And that's why I don't and, want and, mine. And he was cool. And we went home. Everybody went home. And he was mad at the officer because he didn't put his, the clip back in the shit. This is what I will say. And then we're going to go to another topic. You take a, mm-hmm. you, take you break a it in my house. the border. It ain't. It's only gonna be one side of the story anyway. They said, "All you gonna hear it from is me." <laughs> hey man, you hear me? It ain't yeah. even. So, yeah, Bum B didn't even want to kill him for real. Yeah, I would. He got too much to look. After I popped you the first time, it's nothing to get you to. Well, I I'm not aiming to, to Wayne. <laughs> hey, I I'm aiming to Lane to, yeah. to slain. I would have took him up top and rapped about it. That's Fuck a delicate it. situation. <laughs> hey, dead ass boy. <laughs> So, me and Yago was talking. Mm-hmm. Was we? Yeah, a little bit. A lot? It's a little bit. A little Word. bit. But uh, we was talking, and I done came to the conclusion that I'm going to go to truck driving school, right? CDL Nino. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go get my CDLs <laughs> finally. Quit fucking CDL around. Nino. But, um, who posted this? Hey, man. Diarco, bruh. You are the MVP of the topics like two weeks in a row. Man, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. You've been doing your thing, man. So, you know, we had the uh, the car that self repossess itself. Mm-hmm. That's yep. crazy shit. We had the... Uh, crazy shit. What is that? China? Where is that at? China or Japan where they had the, uh, the little robot to move your car for yeah, you yeah. when you illegally park? Yeah. That's crazy. Parking for you. Yep. You know how they said that in a minute grocery stores, you ain't going to need nobody to check you out in a minute. That type of shit going to be obsolete in a minute. It's going to be nothing but robots making cars. But now... They about to fuck up the trucking industry. Oh, Lord. 18 wheelers designed to carry all sorts of cargo, but one thing they won't be carrying is a driver. By the end of the year, Aurora tractor trailers are expected to begin cruising the highways, hauling freight between Dallas and Houston. To avoid crashes, the self driving semis outfitted with 25 sensors, including lasers, radars, and cameras. Within the next four years, Aurora said and its competitors expect to put thousands of these trucks on the road. But the CEO with the company touting safety demonstrated the truck's ability to weave through obstacles and avoid pedestrians. We want to be out there with thousands or tens of thousands of trucks on the road. And to do that, we have to be safe. 
A new federal safety regulation will require all the cars and trucks be equipped with automatic emergency braking, or AEB systems, which use sensors to hit the brakes to avoid a crash when the driver fails to. Most new vehicles already have some of these automatic braking forms that the automakers have until 2029 to adopt with these new standards. Yeah. That's wild, man. That's scary as fuck. Can you imagine yeah. the whole 18-wheeler? Ghost riding, you know what I'm saying? I'm I gotta go. Ghost riding. I gotta like, get real. Listen, I gotta get in and get this money while the money is <laughs> there good. to get. You hear hey, me? Because hey. I'm gonna tell you what though? they gonna do. Mm. This how they gonna fuck people over. They gonna pay niggas like fifteen dollars an hour to sit in that truck while it drive itself, just in case it do the so. the driving dis the self driving disengage Something goes out. Mm. They gonna let them trucks run because you know. Uh, uh, a 18 wheeler can only run like 12, 13 hours at a time before you got to pull over and yeah. rest. Mm -hmm. So okay. at that moment, you feel me? I you can, can go to it. sleep when the fucking truck is uh, charging or whatever the fuck is going to do to keep. They going to they gonna pay you to drive and pump gas, nigga. That's what to ride and $15 pump gas. an hour. You gonna ride and pump gas? I feel like that's the bigger question for real. Like, so where does that where does that leave us? Like, y'all about to y'all taking away? It started with stores when y'all started doing self checkout machines and shit. Now they talking about is robots and McDonald's mm -hmm. and restaurants that can bring you your damn food and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like every so where does that where does that leave us? What shit is do? listen. Shit is about to turn into the Jetsons. <laughs> we they got the do? cyber truck in a minute. That motherfucker's gonna be able to float. How we gonna work? Where we gonna work at? Well, they trying to take us back to the farm, ain't you they? You hear me? Hey, to the I hey, seen a robot in hey, a, a place making dough. Hey. I swear to God, like in a food place making dough in the kitchen. Place. And guess what, Brandy? Until they put the robots on the on the corner to sell some crack. Oh my God, we back. What <laughs> 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 well, Adrian Bronis say? We got uh, uh, birds going for thirty two. Listen, Ooh, once, once the Terminator invades the block. <laughs> Yeah. It's over, gang. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. So yeah. We had a good run. Yeah, man. It was good while it was good. But yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to be honest. I'm damn near calling off of work to go <laughs> sign up for truck driving school Monday. I got a couple months <laughs> to get some money. Get that money. Get that motherfucker. Don't let it make you. <laughs> get that yep. motherfucking money. That's up. hilarious. I'm going to stay on the road for like. Six months. Then we're going to take that money. And we're going to buy some bricks. <laughs> yeah. All right, boom. All right, back to being serious. Did y'all know Stevie Wonder owns 75% of the publishing rights on Coolio's hit Gangsta's Paradise? Fuck me up when I no. found that He earned $675,000 in revenue annually. Mm. Damn. Every year. How? Mm. What the is fuck does Stevie mm. Wonder have to do? Is yeah, it's sample? Sa it's sample that's Stevie sample Wonder. Song. Sample? Listen, that's his song. That's why he was on the stage with the. Yeah. All right, I can't play it like that. That's you know why he beat, was. You know what happened? That's why he was on the stage with them in an event where they performed it and shit. I mm. seen a clip of that on TikTok. It says Gangsta's okay, Paradise is based on the 1976 Stevie Wonder song Pastime Paradise. Uh. In addition to owning 75 percent of the publishing. Wonder, uh, I'm sorry, Wonder or his record label also owns a share of Gangsta's Paradise. According to Billboard, Coolio makes about a million dollars in annual publishing royalties from his recordings, and about 90% of that comes from Gangsta's Paradise, which is credited to Wonder, Coolio, Larry, mm. and Sanders, the singer on the track, and producer Doug Rashid. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. We've been spending so, most of our lives living he's still, in the game. If, hey, if the song bring in a million dollars. He's touching what? A thousand? It says 600,000 of it. No, that's uh, what, no, that's that's what, what Stevie's, Stevie's getting. getting. So he damn near getting like three something. Three, 300 and something thou. She probably nah, not if he got to split it with all them other motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, don't forget yeah. them two. Them two other niggas. 
You know what? Uh, we can't say. Probably what, getting like we, can't, probably, we can't say what they are. They we know what they Coolio are. Coolio dead. Rest in peace to Coolio, right, cool. man. They right, probably got a Coolio split dead. that quarter. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, man. Are y'all really? Oh, that was in question. I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, is he dead? Yeah, but, Coolio yeah, died like last year. Y'all, yeah. man. Let me now that you say it. No, he did yeah, man. Yeah. Chuck, look it up for me, please. That you didn't know that neither? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, flab- okay. My flabbers been gassed at so that they did. Gassed, like, what? Living what in gas paradise. No yes. cap. <laughs> 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 no, for real, I'm not. Hey, I'm man, so, I don't know why we laughing. I know that whole song word by word. She said, no, she she said this. You need but it, your reaction she is funny, Brandy. It's just, hey. <laughs> going on in the kitchen. She said he ain't gangsta's paradise dream. Got to learn, but passion, nobody here. Man. If they can understand that, how can they reach me? I know September that September 28th, 2022. Damn, man. Damn. Oh, Not too long I'm ago, so yeah. sorry. Coolio. Listen, I ain't going to lie. Brandy just look extremely Oh, hurt. that is so messed up. I she ain't going to lie. made a joke. <laughs> that shit, I feel bad for her. There's our name. Rest we, in peace. Because we was just the one. How the fuck the weird out Yankovic outlive money? I'm not going to lie, man. Mm. That's fucked up. Mm-mm-mm. He got rich off that goofy ass. They all just through. passing. They all passing. Man, that's how you know we getting old. Hey, I was watching something earlier and they was like, uh, Yeah, something, something, something. Uh, OJ Simpson, he, ain't nobody here to tell the story now. And I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot. The juice died. Yes. I forgot. There's no more juice left in the Bronco. The juice is loose, man. <laughs> <laughs> we, the know is loose. Go, <laughs> we know he ain't We know he ain't with the Heavenly no Father. Dead. Rest in peace. The, the Rest in peace, loose. man. Hey, man, they still ain't arrested, did he? Nah, nah. Do he still got a warrant for his arrest? I ain't know he had a warrant. Oh, okay. You said he left the country. I thought he was back. Somebody said he was back. I don't remember when I he came back. I was seeing pictures of him being like in the States. No. Issuing on apologies and shit for the Cassie video surfacing. Hmm. Hey. I ain't hit. This what I did y'all whenever it was the presidential election, did y'all did anybody vote for Bernie Sanders? No. Hell yeah. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, um, I ain't vote. I fucked with Bernie. Bernie was my dude. So listen to this. Listen to this. Let's see what Uncle Bernie talking I'm about. I'm mad he dropped out. Oh, you know and I hope people Bernie hear this, because it's not an issue we talk about enough. Today in America, 28 and a half million Americans, 18% of our workforce, now work over 60 hours a week, and 40% of employees in America now work at least 50 hours a week. We were talking about a 40-hour work week 80 years ago, and that's what people today, despite the explosion of technology, are are working. The sad reality is Americans now work more hours than the people of any other wealthy nation. And we're going to talk about what that means to the lives of ordinary people. In 2022, employees in the United States, and I hope people hear this, log 204 more hours a year than employees in Japan, and they're hardworking people in Japan. 279 more hours than people in workers in the United Kingdom, and 470 more hours than workers in Germany. Despite these long hours, the average worker in America makes almost $50 a week less than he or she did 50 years ago after adjusting for inflation. We love you, Bernie. Terrible. We go to Germany and get money. I ain't fuck with Bernie then, but I fuck with him now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I fuck with all the Bernies. Shout out to <laughs> Bernie Mac. Hey. Rest in peace. Bernie Sims. Hey. Bernie Boy. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> funny. Uh, it says, moving to a 32-hour work week with no loss in pay is not radical. What's radical is that over $50 trillion <laughs> in wealth has been redistributed from the bottom 90% to the top 1% over the past 50 years. It's time that the financial gains from new technology benefit workers, not the 1%. Yeah. Man, that nigga spit. 
Nah, spitting pure facts. He been spitting. Yeah. Slave labor got to like stop. Years. Okay. <laughs> but well, we again, Bernie was down there in Selma. Wasn't he in Selma? Down there marching with black folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they said he was. I don't, he was. It's a picture got, of him. Yeah, I seen the picture, but you know how yeah. they be doing. Hmm. Yeah, you know how the politicians do that. They like they set it up and they go down there and get arrested real quick. But it looked like he was getting. Nah, it looked like he was really down there in but, the mix though. But yeah, you never know. So until they prove it wasn't him, we'll say it was. Do burn <laughs> Do me a favor, Beezy. What's poppin'? Because I ain't going to lie, bro. One thing I missed was the fact that you was... I never... I, I took for granted, bro, how much you used to read on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody ever want to read, bro. Now, here, I'm going to go ahead and pass it to you. I need you to read that for me, man. Good, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man, this this is just you, gay. This is disturbing. Come on. Rare sexually transmitted ringworm case reported in the United States of America. A rare sexually transmitted ringworm caused by a fungus has been reported for the first time in the United States. The case was published in JAMA Dermatology by doctors at NYU Lagoon Health. This comes as doctors worldwide are finding it increasingly hard to treat fungal infections. We often focus on antibacterial resistance, but it's crucial to consider antifungus resistance now, said Mohammed. I ain't even going to try that one. They're a professor at Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine who was not a part of the new report. The case involves a man in his 30s from New York City who developed a red, itchy rash on his legs, groin, and buttocks after having sex with multiple men during a trip to England, Greece, and California. Tests revealed he had a sexually transmitted fungus called trichophyton. That's my best guess. Mm. It's gay trichomona. Mm. Chick- it's it's probably mm. muff. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Ooh. Damn. You picked a great time to run this one. Oh, I man. I mean, hey, man. <laughs> you couldn't wait. Uh, what the? If it was any month to do it, this is the month to do it. Woo! We what in the? hot water Hey, right and now. listen. Now, because it's a double month type of thing, I got to ask the fellas in the room, how y'all doing right now? Y'all cool? How's your mental health? And no, what the? Now you want to uh, Everybody good? You good? Right. Now you want to ask? You good, Chuck? You yeah. Good? You good? All right. I ain't with no weird shit, but... Oh, God. Well, I'm way better than that. I'll tell you that. That's concerning <laughs> for oh, the, Lord. the LGBTQ <laughs> community. Y'all what? know, listen, and I'm not trying to be funny, but y'all know where they say the A H- word came from. The, the immune virus? Hmm. It is Pride Month. No, and I'm saying, was, I'm just they, asking a question. Do y'all say, know where they say it? They say, the, rumor has it, has not been confirmed, but <laughs> they say, and it, it, you know, that's like something I've been hearing my whole life. Word around the curve. Hey, Will, Will, Will Smith said it was the government. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and just I don't saying, put it past that's it. A, I'm just telling, I'm I just saying, that's what the man it. said. I don't put it past it. I ain't going to lie to you, but that's neither here nor there. But back to that. It's alarming yeah. because the amount of down low men that are still in the <laughs> sexually, that's dirty. Like a sexually a, transmitted. <laughs> Jacob, why you quiet? Dog. A ringworm. Like, can you imagine? Jacob, why you quiet? A, a ringworm <laughs> is something you get from being dirty. From yeah. being yeah. filthy, filth yeah. monger type. You ain't took bathed in weeks. What they say on um, Home Alone, you filthy animal. Yeah, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a count of 10. <laughs> Lying. Crazy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, that, that, yeah, you dirty. You nasty. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. You nasty. You got Wrap it up, Pride Month. Wrap it up. Staff infections and hey, all man. that on your damn I'm Sorry, man. It's my birthday this month. Oh, oh. Nah, it men's up. mental health. Not your birthday. Oh, okay. Just the... What the okay. hell? All right, so check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy. Shakari Richardson snags a five-year Nike deal worth $20 million. 
Mm. <laughs> Hello there. Shakari Richardson, the world's Don't fast. you got a cha-ching button? Damn, I ain't hit it. So I normally fuck this up when I ain't touched the buttons in a while. Oh, yeah, that's, shit. That's facts. Just oh, leave it alone. Shoot. Cha-ching. Oh, he got faith in me. <laughs> Wait, this is the laugh button. He gonna want. I don't need this just a one. I don't need this just a one. Hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Now that's the dollar button. I know that for sure. That's what I want. To uh, I told you. Yeah. Oh damn. I told you to. Man, this nigga came here smoking snow capping moon rock, bro. I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Shakari Richardson, the world's fastest woman, is reportedly on the brink of signing a groundbreaking twenty million dollar Nike endorsement deal. This deal could span five years and include a signature line reflecting her style, promoting inclusivity and and athletic wear. (laughs) What you think about that? Uh (laughs) That shit looks beautiful to me. As the fastest woman on the planet, well deserved. Yeah. That's you, boy, when you say the juice is loose, boy, hey, she the girl right there. She the same boat woman. And they all smart. Nike, they smart. Are we talking she about her fast, she she doing her thing. fast people? Oh, uh, yeah. Doing her hey, shout out to, uh, oh, man, shout out to, okay, yeah. shout out to Showtime, man. Hey, shouts out. They set her up to be at the next Olympics wearing Nike. The next two Olympics. Yeah. That's the dinner she got left in her, too. Mm-hmm. But, sure. hey, I'm going to give no. it to her. <laughs> no, I'm going to give it sure, to her. But I know for sure them two, ne- these next two, she going to be in her prime. Okay. All right, y'all ready for a little bit more of black excellence? Let's get it. <laughs> Dallas Mavericks star Kyrie Irving is signing the first signature athlete for his ANTA shoe line, his father, Dredrick Irving. This marks the first time in pro sports a player has signed his dad to a signature shoe deal. Dredrick played at Boston University and professionally in Australia. Kyrie signed his dad to an endorsement deal and that Diedrich Irving's will release in Foot Locker stores in September. Hmm. The Diedrich oh. Irvings. I respect it. I mean, who other than Kyrie to do some shit like that? That nigga said, hey. Hey, Pops. If you get, if you get motherfucking, if LeBron can finesse his son into the NBA... Man, I mean, I'm about to get you money for the rest of your life. Y'all ready to get these Dredrick threes, mm-hmm. motherfuckers? Yeah, my <laughs> dad <laughs> should be Dredrick Give Irvings. him a big bag, too. Pops, bag. Bro. I'm about to Pops. Fuck. So, um, that's his own line on its own. Like, it don't yeah, belong. No to, cosign. He pulling some no, Nike like, shit. Yeah. Yeezy. He said, try my new toe tap of high tops. <laughs> Maybe up next week. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. These moccasins. <laughs> These Native Americans. <laughs> the toe, the toe tap was <laughs> patent leather. Hey, <laughs> 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 That's funny as yeah. fuck. All right, great pod, everybody. Any, wait, is there any other topic that was in here that y'all want to discuss before we go? Like, if, is it any of them that you was like, Die hard set on me bringing up before we up out of here. Anybody? No, I think on one. Rap like no. Christmas gifts. I think we did all right, brother. All right, yeah. cool. See uh, y'all niggas next week. No, in a minute, but nah. Brandy, <laughs> what you got going on? Um, nothing much. Oh, Father's Day about to come up. Damn. That's so we're gonna do something on Sunday, little family and everything. You know, barbecue, all that type of stuff over to my mom's. And everybody mm-hmm. have a good time. Had to pull out mm-hmm. all of that. And, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. What about you, Yeko? I ain't got shit going on, you know. Same old shit. Trying to get some money on. So you can have you? some fun, young. Oh shit, that was it. <laughs> Mike Young for the fight. Hey, that was it. Ain't you ain't know. been working on music. You ain't been doing no streaming shit coming up. Not nothing. Hell no. Nah. I've been chilling. <laughs> hey man. He said the it moon is, he got me cooling. It, it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So I gotta go to work on Saturday. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Same. This motherf- listen, this motherfucker walked up to me and was like, You working Saturday? No. And I was like, mm, ask me tomorrow. He's like, no, I'm telling you, it's mandatory overtime. Like, I'm like, Dang. well, I saw you Saturday, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 so I got to do that. And on Sunday, uh, my girl's uncle, Uncle Ricky, what's up, big dog? 
He um doing a Father's Day barbecue for all the fellas. So I'm pulling up. If y'all want to pull up, let me know so I can tell him we pulling up now, nah, man. Okay. That's you, fine. You, you feel me? That's fine. Outside of that, I ain't got too much going on. I'm trying to put this track list together. I've been waiting on people to come help me, but that's not here nor there. What's up with you? Hey, no, hold up. Before we nah, do don't that. don't do that, bro. Nah, don't hold do, up. Nah, don't say up, fuck that. Up, don't do that. Up, you always do that. Get an Arco. Now, is this nigga, when this nigga needs something from us, is he not adamant about that shit getting done? Do we not call us to death until that shit get done, right? Right. We we, we, we get the blues sometimes. Right. <laughs> uh, so he ain't pressed you about it. Screwed, so it right? Important. Uh, right, screwed? <laughs> Hey, he's somewhere putting his arms on. Now, when it comes to this, <laughs> when really it comes to this like, shit, screwed? a nigga get home and act like that topic don't exist. So, you know, who am I to be like, bro, let's get your track list together if you don't even really want to get right, it you together. Right, bro. Arco, what you got going on? Hey, it's my Smooth. birthday. Hey, hey, hey it's hey. my birthday. Hey. hey. No, you know, uh, about to hit up this uh, tequila fest. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What's yeah, that? When is uh, that? Uh, this weekend. Fuck. This weekend. Saturday. Saturday. Damn, you got to work. Uh, man. I three. get off at four. Oh, oh you no, get off I think at I get off at four. Okay. All Same right. time as me. That sound uh, like yeah. kick it time, though. For go, sure. Uh, go cut me up a good old steak. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. Is it a certain uh, cut you like? Not really. Ah, but, he's uh, a red meat fanatic. Yeah, you rib know, by, it, rib I me. like ribeye is good. You know what I'm saying? Boy, get you a really, filet mignon, Jesus. It's the really Lord's like day. It. Okay. Man, it's your birthday. Get a tomahawk. It's your birthday. Get a tomahawk. Yeah, I'm going to say I had a ragu last wagyu, year. Wagyu, okay. He said, I've been to that get nigga. Get tomahawk. <laughs> hey, pop Rich, that shit. I ain't going to lie, you feel me? Pop that shit, I went to Prime. I went to Prime last year, you feel me? Okay, okay. You niggas rich as fuck. Get you a tomahawk, Arco. You niggas tired of eating at McDonald's? I'll be forgetting sometimes. Your baby mama's chicken Alfredo. I'm with you. You want to eat motherfucking Wagyu steak? I'm talking about food because I'm hungry. Oh, man. Come to the network. Get up out of here. Yeah, but... Try to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I might go. I might even go swimming. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong okay. with it. We'll see what's up. But uh, I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying myself. Well, yeah, go say you the, too. The main thing. <laughs> Shit. Oh uh, yeah. What's up with it, Beezy? Hey man, niggas is off tomorrow. I'm damn near about to hit Soak City. Don't say, if it's don't say niggas. Nah. Speak for yourself. Me and my little niggas is off tomorrow, so probably go do Soak City, because shout out to JR. Today was his birthday. Happy 11th. Damn, happy birthday, All big right. dog. Hey, man. Man. He out kicking it with mom dudes. You know I got it for the summer. That's nice. That's nice. So we probably going to do, like, I don't know, Kings Island or something. Because he, he just told me straight up, like, hey, I just want some Legos. Like, what? That's it? He like, yeah. That's He's hard. so nonchalant. He like the bill, bill. Oh yeah, for sure. Or like know him some... and him and Keegan put together like all oh, the little Star Wars. I, I, you know, I don't know Star Wars like that, but like the big mega Shut ship oh, that Vader fuck. be on. Go ahead, no, go ahead, because it's so something I wanted to bring up. They be into that. Out of here, I gotta bring it up. Be into that heavy, but uh, other than that, man, I don't know. I definitely want to catch some barbecue Sunday though, because my girl gonna be out of town with uh, Keegan because he got a Father's Day Select tournament. All right, pull Hopefully up. he do good in that, right? For sure. Pull up, Chuck. What you got going on? I'm about Bless to leave you. here and hey. go to work. That part. Work. So look, one thing I'm gonna say before I wrap this up, y'all remember we was talking about that Eminem song the other day? Who did? Yeah, yeah. You know what I thought about? Yeah. So you know how the sound, the CD he dropping called um, "The Death of Slim Shady, Slim Shady" or "Killing Slim Shady" or some shit. Mm-hmm. You know how he was wearing the Robin mask? Yeah. You know I'm a comic book nerd. Yeah. What if he plays out the death of Slim Shady like they did? I don't know if y'all know or not. Oh, the yeah. The Joker killed Robin. Killed Robin, yeah. Okay. But who would the Joker be? I, I don't know. But okay, uh, that's just MGK. something. MGK. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, Lord. But that's something I just thought about, man. <laughs> That'll right. be dope. Great yeah. pie to everybody. You know, uh, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. You tuned in. To everybody has one. And you know what? Tonight, you know, we leaving out with tonight. I'm oh, feeling no. good, man. It's only right. Hit us with that shit. It's only right, man. We leaving out with me and my cousin, Big Yago and Dre Cash. <laughs> Brandy. Let's go. <laughs> 
My little dark skin chick. <laughs> like Brandy. Brandy. You are now tuned in to the number one podcast coming out of Dayton, Ohio. Brandy. Hey, I got a dark skin chick like Brandy. Like Brandy so sweet, she remind me of candy. Candy such a freak, come to my room with no panties. Cause it's so good, make you wanna meet a man. Hey, I got a dark skin chick like Brandy. Like Brandy so sweet. They not talking about my sister because they Brandy, not talking about she's me. She's a motherfucking Christian. <laughs> they not talking about me at all. <laughs> <laughs> at she's all. a saint. We talking about Ray saint. J's sister, man. That's Ray, Ray yeah. J's sister. Man. Yeah, for sure. Not that. me. Yeah, know that because my sister is a Christian. Yes, I am. Ain't Ain't that, that, like like that, that sister Brandy. Somebody, Ooh. anybody, everybody, tell them when we gonna see him in, in a, a minute, minute, boy. In a minute, boy. boy.